She's so cute. Dr. Jeff will come in and talk to you guys. Okay. Thank you. This is Mavis, and she's a teacup chihuahua. We've had Mavis for about two years now, and we think she's around 10. My daughter actually found her in a field in the middle of winter. We looked for an owner, put up flyers, and looked around, but nobody ever claimed her. So she became ours. Last weekend, I noticed that she just wasn't feeling good and was breathing kind of heavy, so I took her to our vet. And they realized that her gallbladder wasn't working anymore. We looked around to find a place that would do the surgery, and most places said, we don't do gallbladders. She's pretty much my son's companion dog. He's disabled, and so she follows him wherever he goes. He doesn't really understand her being sick. One of the ladies that I work with, she actually suggested that we come here for great pet care. So that's kind of what made our decision. Hello. Hi. So what's going on with your little one? Um, so she had pancreatitis last week. And okay. they told us that she needs to have her gallbladder taken out. From one bout of pancreatitis? Yes. Explain the pancreatitis. Did she eat something unusual? Nope, she didn't eat anything unusual. Um, I just had noticed that she wasn't eating, was kind of yeah. lethargic, and then kind of had some respiratory issues. She vomited or anything like that? Uh, she vomited one time. Okay. Hasn't had any weight loss or anything like that? No. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just have Dr. Don probably do an ultrasound on her too. I don't want to open something that doesn't need it. If there's anything ambiguous at all, we'll go in, take the gallbladder out, and she'll stay with us, um, well, at least two days, you know? So let me get a technician up, and we'll go from there, okay, all right? Okay, great. Thank you very no much. Problem. I appreciate I it. Don't want... Hey, babies. I don't... I don't... Pretty cute. The gallbladder produces bile, and it's very important in, in digestion, and in particular, fat digestion. All right, let's go. When you have gallbladder disease and it backs up, you end up with some liver issues, You have, it, there's, it's painful, uh, vomiting, and if they rupture, they die. I mean, it's really, really bad. So, you know, you don't want them to get to that point. Mavis is certainly not showing the classic symptoms of gallbladder disease. She should be sicker than what she is. Um, I'm just, I'm dubious. I don't know. We'll, I'm going to have Don, we're going to sedate her and have Don put a probe on, and we'll just see what the, what the ultrasound looks like. With x-ray, the soft tissue and fluid are the same color, so you can't really separate them. But with ultrasound, the fluid looks much different to the soft tissue, so you can get a much better picture with the ultrasound. This is normally where the gallbladder is, but I'm not seeing what looks like a gallbladder. Yeah, I'm not sure. Gallbladders that need to be taken out usually have a, key, a very unique kiwi appearance on ultrasound. We're not picking that up, uh, but I'm old school. I don't trust machines, you know. I, I've seen a lot of misdiagnosis with ultrasounds, so I think we need to open her up and take a look at that gallbladder. Don! Yeah? There's no gallbladder on this dog. What? There's no gallbladder at all. That's weird. What the hell? Maybe this is it. Gallbladders, when they rupture, you get horrible peritonitis. They just, you know, they're really, really bad. Can I get a bowl of some fluids? It's so tissue irritating, and they really do die really quickly from it. That's the worst one I've seen. You know, I've, I've probably done as many surgeries as any person walking the planet, and consistently, you know, God will throw me a curveball. I think, oh, I've seen that before. And then you get in there, oh, what is this? I've never seen this before, you know? So it's, uh, you just never know what you're going to get. Because it's pretty much just a dead gallbladder. I mean, dogs do fine without gallbladders. But I suspect that it was like there was no more bile passing through there, and it hasn't been. I mean, I, I doubt if there's been, that's not been a functional gallbladder in a long time. At this point for Mavis, it's drugs, you know, treat her underlying uh, peritonitis, which I do think there's some bacteria in there. Uh, and get her eating, and hopefully we can send her home in the next two or three days. Hi. Hi. You're picking up Mavis, right? Yes, I am. Oh, she's going to be so excited to go home. <laughs> You're adorable. Aren't you ready? Let's go back to the okay. room, and then we'll have somebody come in and talk to you. OK, great, thanks. 
this has been almost what, a two week process of trying to figure out everything that's wrong with her. So this will be great to have her home with us again. She perked up. So. She hadn't been really interested in eating, but she's been getting better and better and feeling all right. I, I, this is weird. I mean, I've done quite a few of these, considering uh, it's not that common with surgery. I mean, like, I couldn't even see her gallbladder. It's like, where's the gallbladder at? I mean, I, it's just weird. I, I really think she should not be this healthy, <laughs> but she is. So um, take her home, get her eaten. OK, okay great. All right. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it. No problem. Bye, little one. She is. <laughs> Very cute. Yes, I missed you. Just can't wait to get her to my son Preston so that he can see her and know that she's okay so we can get her back home and get our life going back again. I think it's just a testament to her personality probably that she's just a great little strong little dog who just had such a will to live and really believe in fate and she must have been fated to be ours and and do well. Yeah, I know. You ready? Let's go see Preston. <laughs>